So this is the XGME Halo mobile projector. Now, let me just start by saying that probably the most common devices I get asked to review on my channel are always projectors. And I think in total, I've only accepted two reviews. And the main reason for that is most of those projectors, unfortunately, are not the best. Either they are not very bright or they have poor resolution or poor support. Basically, they just weren't worth reviewing on my channel. But this projector, I can tell you straight away, I mean, I've had this for a couple of weeks now, is simply the best projector I've seen for a long time. I mean, it's a completely portable projector, which means it does have a built-in battery. So you can take it out to the garden or take it to the beach or wherever you want to and use this to project up to a 300 inch screen. This also runs Android 9 and it supports Chromecast. So all of your favorite applications, all of your favorite Android apps or Android games, you can install them directly onto this unit and then just take them wherever you go. Now it has the Google Smart Assistant built in. It has two 5 volt speakers powered by Harman Kardon. Now one of the key selling points about this is just how bright it is. So for a projector of this size to get 800 lumens is just really impressive. Now I'll leave the rest of the specs over there and let's quickly open this up. So inside the box we get the power adapter which is just on the floor at the moment. We get a quick manual and an FAQ. It comes with this really nice looking remote control. And we can see we have a dedicated button for the Google Voice Assistant. Uh, we also have the normal home and back keys. You have the volume up and down here. And you also have the ability to change inputs by using this button here. And this is the unit, guys. I mean, what a nice, compact looking portable projector. And there we can just see that the speakers are powered by Harman Kardon. And let's go to the back. So on the back here, we can see we have the power button. Next to that, we have a USB port. So that means you can plug in a standard USB drive with your favorite movies or your favorite content and access that directly with the projector. This also has a HDMI 2 port. So if you want to plug in your games console or you want to plug in your Fire Stick, you can plug that directly into the unit. Next up, we've got the headphone jack and then you've got the power input. On the bottom here, we can see it does actually support mounting to a standard tripod and that's how I've been using it. If I just take that off for a second and we can see it has a standard thread mount so you can easily mount this to a tripod. This is where the battery is and you can actually also use this as a small stand so if you want to slightly have an elevation you can do that like this and we can see the projector is now slightly sort of stood up so in case you want to use it onto a table or a small shelf but personally i would recommend mounting this onto a tripod okay let's now plug this in and i'll show you what android tv looks like on the xme halo projector I mean, probably the first thing that got to me was just how sharp and how clear that picture is. Now, the great thing about the unit is anytime you move it, the autofocus kicks in. So you can see if I slightly move the projector like that, this then triggers the autofocus mechanism, which uses a built-in camera to fully focus the screen. And once again, guys, you can see that really just looks amazing. So here we can see we're in the standard Android TV home screen. So you've got complete access to, you know, the entire Play Store. So I can click on that. And any application I want to install. So uh, let's say I want to install some uh, Pluto TV. I can click on that, give that a second and install that directly onto the unit itself. Now, in terms of RAM and storage, it comes with two gigs RAM and 16 gigs of storage. Uh, let's try some YouTube. And as I mentioned before, because it's portable, it does have those built in speakers. So Again, you can put this anywhere you want, use as built-in speakers, and just enjoy an amazing picture like that. I mean, just how amazing and sharp does that look? I mean, that's why I was saying at the start of the video, without wasting any time, this is simply the best projector I've ever used. I'm just so impressed with the quality, how sharp the picture is, how amazing the colors look, because it does also support HDR. I and mean, that is just a, a phenomenal picture. Uh, let's just forward that a bit. I mean, just the detail and the clarity. So even though it's only 1080p, it does support a 4K input. But if I go to the settings, just to show you. Yeah, we can see it does support up to 4K. I mean, crisp picture, amazing quality, just such vivid colors. I mean, I guess you guys can tell I'm very impressed with this. Now, as I mentioned before, because it does have a standard HDMI port, 
it's very easy for you to plug in your Xbox or your PlayStation or even some of your retro consoles. In fact, let's uh, try a bit of gaming. It's your dream life. That's the horizon I see. And if any of you guys are still here with me then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag halo then I know you made it this far in the video which I always appreciate I'll then heart your comment. So yeah gaming on this uh, projector was an absolute treat. I mean racing games I tried some fighting games it just looked amazing playing on a massive screen like this. Now in case you're wondering if the picture looks or why the picture looks slightly tilted, um, the wall that I was actually projecting on is just shaped like that. So I was trying to get the right angle for you guys to see what the picture is like. But at the same time, just that the way that the wall is shaped is why the picture may seem slightly um, uh, one-sided. But again, you can actually tweak all of that. Uh, in fact, let me show you some of the uh, tweaking settings or the picture settings. So let's say for example you're watching something and you want to adjust the picture well they've made it really easy if i just press the uh, settings button on the remote we can see on the top right i get this menu here so here for example i can go into uh, image mode i can click on that and here i can change some of the uh, picture type settings so this is standard for example i can go to soft uh, here we have office and uh, let's look at bright but I personally found just standard to be the most sort of uh, accurate in terms of uh, color. Let's leave that as is. Let's go to the keystone correction. I can enable automatic keystone, which goes like that. Now I can also change the zoom setting. So if I click on this, we can see I can actually make the screen much smaller. So depending on your setup or how large your wall is, or if you're projecting onto a screen, you can basically adjust the picture size and make sure it actually matches. Uh, I'm gonna put mine back to full for a second. Here we are. And here you can also do the manual keystone settings if you want to adjust the picture, as we can see I'm just doing now. And you really can just customize it and get it looking exactly how you like it, but I'm just gonna restore mine to defaults. Okay, so wrapping this up, what are my closing thoughts on the XGME Halo portable projector. Um, well, just so many positives, just so many things to like about this. I mean, we can start with just that phenomenal picture quality, really bright, but at the same time, really deep blacks. I mean, that picture is just so bright, so clear. Even in the daytime with the curtains drawn, I could still clearly see that picture. As we saw, this also has Android TV built in. So, so many applications, so many games are available for you to install straight away directly onto the projector itself. Whereas on other projectors, it always relies you to plug something in. Uh, on top of that, the sound quality was really good. I mean, the speakers are only 5 watt, but that was more than enough to fill up a small room. Also, the fact that it's portable, so no need to plug it in, no need to add in any extra cables. Just pick up that small portable projector. You can then take it out to the garden or to your friend's house or to the beach or wherever you can find a place to project that screen onto and you can then start enjoying your favorite shows, your favorite movies, or even just gaming on a large projector screen like this is just amazing guys. So I'm definitely happy with it. I mean, just on the negatives, um, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but I do know for Prime Day, they're going to have some discounts. So definitely do check out the links in the description. Oh, and also that you cannot access Netflix natively on this. So you'll either have to sideload the mobile version or of course, if you plug in your Fire Stick or your Roku or any other device, you can of course access Netflix like that. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying to the end. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this projector and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.